Alright, so some people are still kind of confused about how to convert their anime or MKVs to the uh, container MP4 for use in Vegas. Uh, so this video hopefully will clear some other questions up. So we're going to go open up MKV Toolnix. Uh, we installed that in the previous video. It's a tool set that will allow you to work with MKVs. And then of course we installed the MKV Extract GUI so that there's an actual GUI to do it since some people don't like command line stuff. So open that up, and then we get our input file, which is going to be Yosuga no Sora 1 from UTW. Uh, yep, there it is right there. Click on the tracks we want, video and audio. We don't really need subtitles or the attached fonts, since you know, they're just for styling purposes. Click Extract. If you've got source directory checked, it's going to extract these files to where your source file is, which is convenient if you're keeping everything together. Uh, it goes pretty quick. There you go. I think they're hiding behind that video, so. Uh, so far you should be with me. This is, this is, everyone seemed to get this from the previous video. All right, we got our video and our audio streams. This is an H.264 raw video stream and the AAC audio stream. Uh, he, uh, you could probably drag the audio stream right into Vegas, but the video stream isn't gonna play very well. You need to put it in a container it'll be able to look at. So we're gonna use MP4 box. So to get there, you wanna go to start run. Uh, I think you can hit Windows key R, but start run should work. Then type CMD, stands for command, command prompt or command line. Then as you'd see it was looking at C as a student, so we need to go look at the desktop, CD desktop. Let's change directory desktop. Now we get MP4 box, start adding in our files. Um, I'm just hitting tab, that's why it's popping up the whole thing right away. Cause I'm just tabbing through the files to find the one I want frames per second, uh, that takes a little more effort. If you don't know the frames per second and you guess you get it wrong, you're going to get video audio sync issues. So you're going to want to use something like media info or something like that. Find out the frames per second. Um, sometimes you can actually just right click on it and Windows will tell you. But I mean, it's usually 23.976. So uh, There you go. Starts importing the streams. It's not re-encoding. We're just importing them to, to mux them into MP4. Uh, that's the great thing about this, we're just moving them to a new container, we're not doing any converting, so it's real quick. Alright, it's done. Uh, I think I called it out, yeah. <laughs> so, should be hiding back there, there it is. Open that up. And... There it goes. Plays just fine. Um, after this, I'm going to open it up in Vegas and show you what it looks like in there, but talk about some other stuff. So make sure that you are opening start, run, command prompt, change directory to where MP4 box is and work with it like that. You can't just click on it. It's not. It doesn't have a GUI aspect, so it's just going to pop up and disappear. Um, if you do really want to use a GUI for MP4 box, you can look up YAM, Y-A-M-B. It's like yet another MP4 box GUI. I don't know what the B is for. That thing works pretty well. Um, I've been using that recently because I'm kind of lazy. I don't really want to do command line all the time. But command line's really good for batch processing. All right, so you can see when you select the video, the video and audio is displayed right there that I was cursoring. Um, if it's showing that, then you're on, you're on a good track. If it doesn't show that, you've got issues. Drags in just fine, and there you go. It should play very smoothly. If you are getting stuttering, um, that is most definitely going to be QuickTime probably trying to play it. Uh, for some reason, Vegas delegates QuickTime whenever you work with MP4. Um, maybe QuickTime has preference there for some reason, but what you can do is you can go into your input-output DLLs and in your Vegas installation and just name the qt7.dll to dot .back and it won't use it. You can name it back when you're done. Um, you can also just uninstall QuickTime, I believe, and that'll get rid of it too, one or the other. I don't think I have QuickTime installed. I use Media Player Classic basically for everything, and it seems to work just fine. Plays just, just lovely. All right, I think that's most of the issues. People are having trouble with the GUI, people are having trouble using MP4 box should be great. That's basically the whole process from start to finish, converting MKV to MP4 for use in Vegas. Thanks for watching.